Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here on my porch, drinking my coffee, and the sun's been coming in and out of the clouds again, and it's starting to be more cloudy. I could probably take the, the shades off, but it's a nice, cool morning. I mean, by cool, I mean it's like 76 degrees, so that's cool to me, and I'm just enjoying the sound. Oops. Oops. B. <laughs> The sounds of nature, the sights of nature, the sheep next door are, can you hear them? Yeah, they're doing better. Anyhow, so it's supposed to rain, and I want to cut up that big, big tree, so I got to get going here pretty quick. First things first, though, it's become a daily routine to go out and harvest the hornworms. Yeah, look at, they're already pooping in there. Gross. But their poop is really, really good, high in nitrogen, so I put it back in the garden beds. So I'm going to feed these to the baby chickens. Well, baby chickens, big chickens. Hello, baby chickens. Let's get you some of the little ones, okay? Here. You guys get a couple of the big ones. Somebody's shooting. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to hand these all out. It's too hard to film at the same time. This is still working, guys. It's working really good. I just have to adjust venting it to keep it between 45 and 50. And, yeah, I think, I don't know. Maybe I'll get some baby chicks out of this. This is today's harvest, all of these tomatoes, that, and then those. I still need to do something with these. And, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a yucky one. We'll get rid of it. Um, I'm basically just pulling all the tomatoes off the plants. I'm going to leave the foliage there just so I can harvest some more food for my chickens. And, yeah, I see another thing of salsa in my future. I had to really edit a lot of this stuff out just because it would have taken forever for you guys to watch. So, basically what I had to do is just kind of this first section, I had to go from the top. And then I had to go from underneath and separate so I could have a log that I could roll around because of the size of my blade I have to like hit it from the top roll it over and then cut the rest of the way through Woo, it's raining anyhow uh, so that's what you get to see me do and uh, yeah it's it's split up and edited quite a bit
Well, my battery's wearing down, and uh, I need to add some oil. And it is going to start raining here in about another 30 minutes. So I'm going to take this last load up to the tiny house and try and split at least some of it up. Uh, the rest will have to wait for another day. Thank goodness this wood is splitting up, unlike the other wood that I have um, that's getting all stringy. This has been splitting up just fine. Pretty big logs. Every single one of these logs, uh, even the ones that are smaller than this here big one, have had to be cut in eighths, but they're splitting up just fine. Ooh, big boy. There we go. I could have pushed that a little bit harder on the uh, splitter, but I didn't. I had to do this. This will be easier. This is one of the biggest pieces, aside from the very first piece that I've split today. So I'm struggling a little bit more with it, but it sure is easier than swinging an axe. Yeah, let me go just a little bit further with this one. There we go. Beautiful. Whoops. There we go. See what I mean? <laughs> Having to cut it all into eights. There we go. See that other wood? It wouldn't split. It wouldn't crack like that. It would just separate into fibers, and the fibers were all connected still to each other. And uh, you couldn't even hack them apart. You'd have to really just fully swing the axe to get them to separate. Look at that. Yeah, this one's okay, but this one's going to have to be split again. See? Easy peasy. And every year I have to say this <laughs> because somebody always says and criticizes me, far be it from the internet to not tell me that I'm doing it wrong. I have to split wood in accordance with the size of my wood burning stove. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to split wood bigger than what can fit in your wood burning stove. So I, uh, I split mine up according to the size that I need, not the size that other people think I should be doing. Because if you put big honking pieces in a wood burning stove, well number one, it might be too long to fit in there, but it just doesn't burn as well. So yeah, I'm not doing it wrong. I'm doing it in accordance with what suits my wood-burning stove and from my own experience. Woo! Look at that, you guys. Oh, my wagon's full. I gotta go unload. Okay, these are my stacks. Uh, I don't know if I want to put it back there. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start stacking over here. See? This is that other wood that I split. It was just... It took me two hours just to do a couple logs. Wasn't splitting it good at all, so... I'm going to fill up this area. That's looking better. Yes, it is. All that's filled up now. Still got more to go. It's raining a little bit, but that's okay. I don't melt. It started raining a little bit harder, so I still have six logs to go. I put them in the wagon and pulled them inside of the shed. So, um, I'll get those done when I get them done. For the rest of the day, I've got to get things cleaned up inside the tiny house, get the floor real nice and clean and swept because tomorrow he goes to the vet to get fixed. Actually, uh, you're watching this today. Um, so the day that you're watching this is the day that I take him. So you'll get to hear in the next video how he did. Anyhow, um, yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.